exploded it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. I, I'm, I'm in a much better mood and higher energy than I was whenever I was sleep deprived. So I have absolutely no restraint. I'm so sorry. But I'm also, I'm not sorry. This is who I am. This is me now! Fuck you. But look what I could do. No, I don't want to. Dreadhead, no, I don't want to. You know what? Uh, you know what? You know what's funny though is I can take Best of James on YouTube and I can report. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I really should though. I really should. I feel like, yeah, I'm gonna report it because I'm gonna have I'm people I'm having people go into live streams and solicit for this channel. It is uh it <laughs> Streamer! Streamer! Do the thing that I wanna do! Fuck your stream! Streamer, your stream's not important! You should pay attention to me! Streamer! Streamer! Stop streaming what you wanna stream because your stream is not important! Streamer! Do what I wanna do! Streamer! That's what you sound like. Is that what is that the message you wanna portray? Hey Anon. I'm sorry, I'm shit I'm shit talking someone. Fuck I am a bitch. Yeah, you are! Ah! How sweet! Beautiful. I'm very proud of you. Good job. Congratulations! You've won! <laughs> I do understand. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm less of a mommy and I'm more of a crazy why not. I'm the one that gets you the cool shit because your mom tells you you're not allowed to have it. Also, mods, thank you so much for not banning him until later, because I have so much fun shit talking because someone's like, Mr. Thweamer, Mr. Thweamer, do what I want to do. Mr. Thweamer, Mr. Thweamer, Mr. Thweamer, Mr. Thweamer. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. Do you know that song was actually made out of annoyance? Mom said it's my turn with the viewers. Stwema, I'm literally hitting the gwitty right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm sorry. Listen, I've gotten to the point. I've gotten to the point where I'm not gonna sit here and allow people to um, step on me in that sense. Like, there was a time when I was streaming that I was really, really like, oh gosh, I can't, I can't, I can't argue with them. I can't argue with them. I don't, I don't know what to do. And, and it's just like, there's, there's a time in every streamer's life. Every streamer has that point because when you're first starting out, you don't want to offend anyone. Any viewer is a chance to keep growing. Any viewer is important. So you tolerate people just fucking with you and just treating you like dirt because you feel as though you have to. No, no, you don't. But it takes a while to learn that. And after a while, I started getting really fucking tired of people and humoring them. So now I just, I put them on the fucking front and center. You want attention in my stream? Go ahead. What you gonna do with that attention? You're gonna fucking t run away with your tail tucked between your leg, you bitch. Anyway, hi. But listen, I've had people bug me trying to get me to watch their shit. I have had people, you should follow me. Can I, I have seen people go in. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I have seen people go into streams, uh, viewer counts like mine, and be like, can I get a shout out? Can you shout me out? Hi, I like your stream. Can I get a shout out? Do they really think that that's going to make them grow? No, no, that is tomato, not tomato, growth. Tomato. That just gets you fucking banned in communities and ostracized from the community. That does not do a thing. Okay, I'm going to be dead fucking ass. I'm going to let you guys in on a secret because this is also something that I have experienced and I've seen things about people. I have seen this happen to a friend of mine and it's really disheartening, but I also want to point this out. So, you know how when certain people come into my stream, they get a shout out, right? They get a Twitch shout out. 
they get my uh, in-stream shout out because I love them and I also want to have the opportunity to at least let people know that they exist. Do you want to know what happens when that happens? Do you want to know what happens when someone gives you a shout out? 80% of the time, the name goes in a memory bank in the viewer's mind and they do not drop a follow like you think they would. Sometimes they do. If the community is very much one that is 100% about uplifting others, like I will throw you guys at people because I want you guys to love the people that I love because they all have their own uniques, interesting and strengths and so on and so forth. But it doesn't do as much as people expect it to. You can get someone come in and get a shout out for a stream of 500 people. Like, let's say you go and be like, can I have a shout out? Streamer, streamer, can I have a shout out? Streamer, streamer, can I have a shout out? You know what's gonna happen? No one's gonna follow from that shout out. They don't know who you are. That's not gonna do anything. It literally will do nothing. That is why that does not work. Who are you to them? If you go to a random stream and ask for a shout out and let's say that streamer gives you that shout out, but they don't know who you are and your first time chat it shows to the entire community. Your first time chat is you asking for a shout out. That's going to do absolutely nothing for you. You will not grow. You need to grow through your own fucking grit, through your own determination, reaching out, establishing yourself. You know what I did when I first started streaming? I asked one of my friends, hey, can you follow me so I can start with at least one follower? Hanto! When I first started streaming, I made a brand new account because I wanted to start off fresh, right? And you know what I did? I went to my friends and I said, hey, can you follow me? Because I'm a baby. And I was nervous. And Hantu, that little motherfucker right there. He doesn't really stream, let's be honest. But he streams whenever we threaten him, whenever he's drinking. Um, he was my first follower because I asked him because I was like, hey, I need just maybe, <laughs> please. And I followed him before he followed me. <laughs> and I reached out. And I had a little bit of help, you know, I had my friends, the people that I knew, pop in and be a chatter and hang out. But did I get here because I went to streams and was like, streamer, streamer, look at me, streamer, streamer, look at me. No, I worked hard. I started off as a Vroid model. Come on. I started off doing a free to use because I made it myself Vroid model with friends in my chat. And I got so, so, so lucky and so fucking happy whenever someone would pop in that I didn't know. When someone would see me and I didn't know who they were and they were a first time chatter, it was so exciting. God, and every single person I treated like this, I treated them the same. I constantly spoke, I talked to them, I asked them about themselves, and I got to know people. That's why there's people who are in my earliest fucking VODs I have available very long time ago that I still see around and I still remember their name to this day, like Denadil, with a number one at the end. I love him to bits. You, I remember from the very beginning, they were one of the first people here. Nova, Destroyer. Carbon, Denny, I remember everyone. You can remember and appreciate all your early chatters is awesome because they were what started me off. They're the ones that got me going. They're the ones who got me to where I am today. And I don't know where I would be if it weren't for people like them. Just yap until they remember. I've had people who have been here from when I was a little v -roid. Do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see what I started off as? There I am. 
And this isn't even the very first version. This is what I started with. This is this was me. This was me when I first started. Look at that. I was baby me. I didn't even have wings because I didn't know how to make wings. This scrunkly little thing I made for free in Vroid Studio. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Look at that. That was that was me. Look at that. Look at me. Look at the bottom. Do you see what that says? <laughs> Do you see what that says? Nerd. You're a nerd. God, I was such a tiny little creature. I had a little video game chair because I thought I I thought it would be cool if I had a little video game chair. I had I put this light bulb in the corner of my stream so when I looked at chat, it gave me an excuse to look to the left because I thought it looked weird. I had mainly Hantu, mainly Hantu in my chat. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> yeah, I just realized I don't think game audio is coming through. <laughs> yeah, it's my Vroid era. This is where this is where I fucking started. Did you see me going around to other people's chats saying, can you get a shout out? No. I had COVID in that video. I had COVID. I felt like shit. I was I was fucked up on cough medicine. I had COVID. I was fucked up on cough medicine. I was Delulu in that video. Leave me alone and be nice. I was so sick. It was 40 minutes before I realized the game audio wasn't even on. Were you even shorter back then? No. Have you gave to a new streamer friend? Don't give up. But Okay, so what would I, what advice would I give to streaming? Be yourself. Have fun. It's not about the numbers. Never have your viewer count on. Never have your viewer count on. Now you can wiggle your antennas. I can! That's one big thing I will tell you guys, never have your viewer count on because then you start paying attention and start thinking it's about the numbers. It's about having fun. <laughs> Glancing over and over. Exactly, you're not focusing on it because you know what happens? You wanna know what happens? You wanna know what fucking happens? You wanna know what happens? If you have an expectation of what you feel like you should be at and if you have your numbers on, and if you see that number, you're going to be happy. You're going to be confident. You're going to be having a great time. You're going to be streaming. You're going to be, you're going to be that confident. What happens when it falls? And you know what happens when you see that number fluctuate? You deflate. If you're so focused on the numbers, you're going to feel bad. You're like, fuck, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. You're not. Numbers will go up and numbers will go down. But when you see that and you get up in your head and you start panicking about the numbers of what it used to be and how it's not that anymore you start exuding that energy to your chat where you're not as excited you're not talking to them like you were because you're not excited about it anymore because you're stressed because you're worried about the numbers always give your chat the energy that you want to give them not because it's a number 10 not because it's a number five not because it's a number 20 all the energy should match because it should come from your heart. The energy you give to your chat, they can feel it. If you're ever in a bad mental space and you don't feel up to stream, don't stream. Don't stream. Your chat can feel it. Give yourself a day. Rest. Don't push yourself. Be yes, be kind to yourself. But when you start overthinking and putting yourself down, that's the energy you start giving to your chat. And it's... It's not good. It's not fun for you and it's not fun for them. It's a vicious cycle. And it's so hard to break. But you can. I mean... I have seen people... I mean, look... Okay. I'm going to bear my heart. I'm going to bear my soul. I was... 
streaming to around 60 ish 70 sometimes 64 70 69 nice i was so close to partner numbers right and i got it in my head of taking pushing for partner seriously and you know what that did that destroyed my mental i started focusing so hard on numbers to where if I felt my numbers dip, I would end stream early because I didn't want it to fuck up my stuff. And you know what that does? That affects your longtime viewers because now they don't get a chance to catch you. And so they miss it. And I stressed so much about it. And it put me in such a horrible mental space. I hit a slump. And I will tell you what happened during that slump. Let me actually tell you exactly when it happened. I started stressing out and it started putting so much pressure on me and it made me so anxious about streaming. God, it made me so fucking anxious about streaming and I didn't want that to be. This is supposed to be fun. This is fun for me. But I let it get to my head and I started stressing out and you know what happened? 38. 34. 42, 34, 35. And as soon as I started stressing about it, as soon as I started letting it get into my fucking brain, I started, my anxiety started getting pushed out to chat. I was so fucking stressed and I hated it. And I had the worst slump of my life when it came to streaming it will eat at you and spit you out and it sucks and i was in such a bad space because you know what happens when you let that win and it starts stressing you out and you start freaking out and you start putting that energy off you get the same back and it gets worse because then you start giving that energy out and that's what you start getting back even more so it gets worse because you're letting it into your brain. And it just got worse. And then I met Adora. And she was so blunt and I needed it. I was getting coddled by my friends. They were like, don't worry, it'll be okay. Just keep doing, it'll be fine. And granted that support helped me in so many ways. It helps, it's so nice. But then I had Adora literally cock back her fucking foot and kick me in the ass. She slapped the fuck out of my brain. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Chill. Just fucking do this. Just fucking do the thing. Stop fucking worrying about it. Have fun. Go off. Do what you want to do. Stop trying to cater stream to what you think what people want. Do what you want to fucking do. And you know what happened? 95, 97, 138, 89, 107, 75, 112. That is less than a month later after she kicked me in my ass. Because I stopped letting it fuck with me. I listened. I said, fuck it. I changed my background to something I wanted it to be. I goofed off and I went and got a new chat box. I changed how I showed my model on stream. I said, fuck it. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I don't give a fuck anymore. And you know what? People resonated with that. They connected with me. They felt who I was as a person, not as some performance. And then I got partner. Then I got friends. I had these people around me to support me as I am, not because of what I was putting off. Look, it happens. And I never want you guys, if this happens to you, if you guys hit that slump, don't feel bad if you do. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to hit those slumps. It's okay. You're human. It's who you are. <laughs>